Madam Secretary, I hope you remember me. We were together at two meetings last week. I would like to ask you about one of those meetings. It occurred about noon on uh, January the 11th. You were a few minutes late, I know, and asked forgiveness, but you were called at the last minute to come and attend. Some things were said at that meeting which I believe we have to address today. People across the United States and around the world want to know what this president believes should be our priorities when it comes to immigration. I'm going to ask you, as best you can, to recall what you heard the president say when it came to those priorities. What do you remember the president saying about immigration from African countries to the United States? What I heard him saying was that he'd like to move away from a country-based quota system to a merit-based system. So it shouldn't matter where you're from, it should matter what you can contribute to the United States. How did he characterize those countries in Africa? In, I, I, don't, I don't specifically remember a category, categorization of countries in Africa. I think what he was saying is, uh, as far as best I could tell, and as you know, there were about a dozen people in the room, there were a lot of cross conversations, there was a lot of rough talk by a lot of people in the room. Uh, but what I understood him to be saying is, let's move away from the countries and let's look at the individual and make sure that those we bring here can contribute to our society. Do you remember the president saying expressly, I want more Europeans, why can't we have more immigrants from Norway? Uh, I do remember what he, I do remember him asking about the concept of underrepresented countries as a uh, fix. This was, in the con this was in the conversation about removing the diversity lottery and how we could reallocate that. And I do remember him asking uh, if we do that and we then assign those to countries that are unrepresented, aren't we just continuing non-merit-based immigration? So from that perspective, I think he did ask, would that cover European countries, or by its nature, would that mean that we are further establishing immigration to purposefully exclude Europeans? What did the president say about immigrants from Norway? Uh, I heard him repeating what he had learned in a meeting before, uh, that they are industrious, that they are a hardworking country, uh, they don't have much crime there, they don't have much debt. I think in general, I just heard him giving compliments to Norway. You said on Fox News that the president used strong language. What was that strong language? Uh, let's see, strong language there was, uh, I, apologies, I don't remember specific word. Uh, what I was struck with, frankly, as I'm sure you were as well, was just the general uh, profanity that was used in the room by almost everyone. Uh, did you hear me use profanity? No, sir, neither did, did I. Did you hear Senator Graham use profanity? Uh, I, I did hear tough language from Senator Graham, yes, sir. What did he say? Uh, he used tough language. He was impassioned. I think he was feeling very strongly about the issue, as was everyone in the room. Uh, and to underscore a point, uh, I think he was using some, some strong language. Do you recall that the strong language he used repeated exactly what the president had said prior to that? Uh, I remember uh, specific cuss words being used by a variety of members. I'm I'm not going to ask you to say those words here, but I will just say for the record, uh, Senator Graham spoke up in a way that I respect very much, countering what the president had said about countries in Africa, reminding the president that his family did not come to America with great skills or wealth, but they came here as most families do, looking for a chance to prove themselves and make this a better nation. And in defense of Senator Graham, his strong words repeated exactly the words used by the president, which you cannot remember. Let me ask you another question. If I just could, sir, I, I do want to say that I greatly appreciate not only Senator Graham's leadership, but yours as well. I know you're both very passionate about this. As you know, afterwards, I approached you and asked that I'm happy to come talk to you anytime to try to work on this deal. I do think that Senator Graham very impassionately described what he believes America is about and what we should move towards. Yes, I agree with that. 